channel my name is Anahi Mubi if you're new and if you're returning subscribe thank you so much for returning today's video is long overdue oh my word embarrassment I've done a Q&A on Instagram and okay excuse my nose um like my nose is blocked I don't know if I'm coming down at something or if it's just my sinus acting up and my voice is a bit weird so because of my nose I think so yeah and like a lot is going on i'm trying to like i've been trying to set this up for like the past i don't know how many minutes this bathroom has great lighting which is just not showing on this phone i don't know why so yeah i'm gonna be washing my face um i just did my hair for the sake of this video I posted a q a on instagram which I was supposed to answer last month. Literally, it's been two months I've been in the US and this was like a one month update. But, like, <laughs> let me just answer. And I'd like to apologize because I did post on my Instagram that it will be up a week later. And then a week became two weeks. Then two weeks became three weeks. Then three weeks were like, was like, I was like, let me just do it next month. And yeah, I'm no longer in Colorado. I'm in Tennessee. So I was just waiting for that. Okay, so I found the questions. I had done a video of basically me saying, me doing the video and me answering the questions and it was an epic fail. I was talking too much. I'm not talking too much. I wasn't like, I was distracted. Um, there was something in the background that was like, no, it wasn't working. So, yeah, now I'm going to answer the questions and let me answer the first question. Like, I figured that the skincare routine is going to be simpler only because. Why is it so Yeah, with makeup, I was, oh, I was doing makeup in the other video, which caused me to be distracted a lot. And I mean, with skincare, I do it every day, so I don't think I'll be distracted. I'm not going to say the names, obviously. Someone asked me, why did I relax my hair? Firstly, like I thought relaxed hair would be easier in, in terms of knowing what hairstyles to do but as you can see I'm very basic with the hairstyles I ordered well I didn't order it it was a gift but soon I'll receive a, a hair under and I think that those will be like some of the things that help me deal with relaxed hair but to answer the question why I relaxed it okay I was thinking about it for a while. Okay. So um I was thinking about relaxing it. Number one, I'm also trying to remove that attachment to my hair. Like it's just hair at the end of the day. And this whole uh like huge attachment to hair. Um I think I had it. Um so I'm like I don't know. Okay, let me just finish the expression. Obviously, hair is beautiful and I love having hair and what what. But like, it was, I wanted to change my hair, number one. Number two, it's so expensive to, to maintain hair in the US. Like, example, the prices of doing hair. I was checking this other salon on TikTok and it's not even like those spot on uh, salons it's just a salon um and it was like 450 400 dollars and that's a lot of money i'll put here how much that is with the current you um south african rate to the dollar but the rand to the dollar and like it's you ask yourself like is it truly truly worth it uh and then what else my hair was breaking a lot in boulder like the air is very dry I've said this a thousand times in my videos and I will continue saying it. In Boulder, my hair is very dry and it was breaking a lot. And I don't know anything about like what fixing hair, you know, um, things to do to fix hair. Like I take care of my hair very well, but like I didn't know what to do. I wasn't in love with my afro anymore. And I mean, I've been wanting to cut my hair for the longest time. It's just that I've been like, oh, I know I miss my hair. So I, I'd like love to do that when I have a lot of wigs 
so I can just do both and add how does that get? It's just hair. Let me not be it. Excuse me. Let me not be attached. How is the US? <laughs> the US is is nice, fun. <laughs> like I don't know. Uh, I've been, I've had some fun, but I feel as if I'm only going. I feel like the year only started now. Oops. I feel as if I'm only starting to grow. Okay, this is the ordinary nice and light. I love this. This is one of like my constant things. Um. Anyways. I feel as if I'm only gonna start enjoying I'm only gonna start enjoying the US now that I'm in Nashville only because with my previous work schedule I was working and working and working so much yeah I was working so much that I wasn't enjoying my free time like my free time was only during the weekend and I mean, I thought I'd get to do stuff during the week as well. Because, yeah. During the week as well with my previous job. And it was like, I had four hours during the day. I worked in the morning, four hours during the day. And then I worked after like 12. So I did not have time to myself. Which, honestly, I did not mind. Because I, at first I didn't mind. Like, I didn't mind, period. Then... There were certain things that were just draining me as I was working and it was like, it wasn't fun, it wasn't, I'm not saying that it was supposed to be, actually it is supposed to be somewhat fun because I am enjoying what I'm doing now, um, but it is just like, can we get this over with? And I mean, when you're constantly like, oh, every time you wake up, it's not a good sign. So, okay, now I'm going to put this acetic acid. Uh, I wouldn't say I swear by this, but I mean, I've been using it. It's almost finished now, and I think I'm going to buy uh, another one. Anyways, so I'm like, um, yeah, so I'm like, I don't know if I, I, uh, not that I don't know, like, I'm going to start enjoying the US now. Yeah, that's just it. But in all, it's been very nice. I think friends that I've made in Colorado have impacted on that a lot. And then someone asked, are you an au pair? Yes. Um, how's the US? Are you adjusting well? I think this is the same question as the previous one. I said, how's the US for me? Now I'm quite enjoying and um, am I adjusting well? Like since I just moved, I just had to restart the adjustment process and uh, yeah, I think it's too early to say in Colorado, I feel as if I was fully adjusted to my routine, to the around, like I fell in love with Colorado. At, at first I was like, this is such a boring place, like what do you do? Everyone, every time you go out pe like with people, the only things to suggest is outdoor stuff and i mean i don't mind doing that but it's like oh sometimes not that when i say outdoor stuff it's like you're hiking you're like it's things that I, i'm not used to basically and it's like yeah i mean yeah uh, how are you doing i'm good uh wait yeah i'm good Right now, I don't know what is happening, if I'm getting the flu or not, but I'm good. Um, and I think the mo me moving impacted a lot on me saying I'm good. The previous video I done, I just said I'm okay, and that was that. So, much, much improvement. Uh, how's the job? The job, the previous, uh, was draining me a lot, as I said. And, uh, okay. I'm going to be using this is a new me thing my current host family bought me this and i was like oh sure let me try it out and to my surprise i love it i don't know how expensive it is if i'm going to be able to get it myself so i don't know if i want to get used to it used to it but i don't know 
uh, but it's also so light on the skin. Oh, okay. Now that's what I'm putting now is literally my everyday routine. Okay. Anyways, no moss, no nothing. Like I do scrub my face once in a week. I haven't been doing so actually in the past two weeks. So yeah, because I, I left my scrubbing things in Colorado, my face scrub, and yeah, I don't have a face mask currently. So yeah. Now I'm enjoying work, um, like really enjoying, and I can see why people can say this is fun. At first, I was like, Oh my word! Like, I see both cases, like, I, they, it can be fun on some days, not like so far. I've just been having fun and uh, having a good time adjusting to everything. So, yeah, previously, I was getting trained every single day. And I've had, like, I don't think I want to speak about my bad experiences yet because, not yet, I don't think I'll ever speak about the bad experiences because I don't want to speak about operating on this channel. And, yeah, but there were a lot of experiences that I was like, wow, okay, that was a lot. Anyways, I put this black rose on screen. And, I mean, the American culture is just so much sometimes. Uh, how is the weather treating you? In Boulder, it was horrible. Like, when I heard horrible, I mean horrible. Like, I'm a person that genuinely doesn't mind being in the cold because, um, that doesn't mind being in the cold because, I mean, you can control cold. But it's so cold, like it snows in spring, and not just once in a while, it snows, like, it snows, and it's always cold, the moment you're in the shade, you're in the cold in Boulder, and yeah, I guess I didn't enjoy that part, uh, but here in Nashville, oh my word, the weather is so beautiful, um, I went to the park yesterday, and oh my gosh, on the way there, I was like, can I get there already? The way I was feeling so cold, so hot. Um, you know, when you just like, nope, I'm over this. But yeah, I wish there was the beach here because it would suit this weather so well. But we are on the inside of, yeah. We are surrounded by land. But we do have a pool, so, I mean, it's not as bad. It's you like control it easier way in Boulder when it's hot. Oh my gosh. Like it gets so cold but it also gets so hot. Like yeah. And I didn't even experience the hottest days. Apparently here is also gonna be very hot. It can go up to uh I think my host mom said like ninety Fahrenheit, but I think that's around forty or late thirties. And I don't know what that will feel like because in Durban and in Cape Town where I've stayed in, I've never gone past 35. Maybe in Durban on hottest days, it'll be like 36. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. And then, um, and then I wish I had like that light. Anyways. Um, have you started missing your home country? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to a South African event that's so is gonna be there, Dio is gonna be there. Um, who's this? I think, oh no, I don't know if it's what's I don't know, but there's gonna be a lot of South African artists that are gonna be there. That's gonna be after June 16. In New Jersey so I mean normally I would not go to such things because I'll be like it's not my vibe but because I'm a South Africa and I was actually talking about this with I think my Mexican friend that you do certain things when you're outside your country that you wouldn't do inside your country only because you miss them not because it's something that you would do on a day-to-day -day basis so I think that's the thing I just miss 
the South African culture and I know I'm going to be seeing a lot of South Africans so that's going to be nice not to like mingle with them or not to like make friends or anything like that but to just be around South Africans uh, do you miss home? yes I do I obviously miss home it's been so nice but I don't miss them enough to go back but I just miss them like I really do miss them and then how how's the adjustment cultural differences uh the adjustment is huge like what you see on american tv like yeah what you see on tv that showcases american lifestyle is exactly what you'll see in real life <laughs> it's just that and um yeah, I mean, you miss the South African culture and how things are done. You want to hear Quantum just going past and hooting somewhere. You want to hear someone playing South African music. You want to smell a braai. And you're like, I smell a braai. You know, you want to smell certain things and you're just not going to do that. You're not going to um, experience those things. And then the cultural differences. I mean... I've been saying this that so far I have not been experiencing anyone that has been saying this is not part of skincare routine but I'll do it. I left it. No, I didn't. Oh my gosh, what was I saying? Cultural differences. I think I'm done with that question. Hey guys, I don't know. I'm also like I don't want this to reach over twenty minutes because come on. Uh is is it easy making friends? I mean it's not as easy as it's not easy, 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 but uh it's somewhat easy. Like Martin it can be easier. Like right now, I'm, I've been in Nashville for a few days and I have no friends whatsoever. But I started reaching out yesterday. And... Uh, uh, yeah, I started reaching out yesterday to a couple of people. And yeah. I don't know. I'm going to try to mingle and see what's got, where that's going to land me. I don't care about making South African friends because... Yeah, friends are just friends. I have my, I mean, my friends in, like in the in Colorado, were just a mixture. Yeah, I mean, as you can see, it's a mixture of different friend groups. I mean, different people, but uh, yeah, I still enjoy being. I just love go energy. I don't care where you're from. As long as you're down to me. And I mean, I, I didn't have the best of experience with, with with trying to make South African friends in the beginning. So I was like, oh, that's fine. Um, I reached out to someone who was South African. Because I thought, oh. Like, I came with the mindset already that hmm, I don't care if you're South African or not. But I was like trying to connect with someone South African as well. And she was just not feeling me and I mean oh, I don't care now uh, like I got friends but she had no reason to be mean you know and I think that happened okay let me not I've also had like a similar experience already here where yeah but South Africans who have been in the US can be nice and can be mean i think it's not even south africans only it's just people they can be mean too because yeah i'm getting that the second time now and then am i loving it here yes i am like generally colorado nashville i love it uh like i love being in the u.s i'm experiencing so many things and i'm like yeah there are so many things that life has to offer for you and you're like wow yeah it's like my brain is getting open to so many things that it's not like i didn't know that they existed but it's my first time experiencing it so it's like wow uh 
how much he experienced in the dating life. Oh, have you experienced the dating life? Mm -hmm. I'm not as big, so guys. Yeah, and then <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna hold this TikTok, but see. The community is affecting us. I'm not infected. I have papers to prove I'm not infected. Okay. Are you finding the U.S. What's how are you finding the U.S. have answered that? What's the greatest cultural shock moment you've had? Oh my gosh, it's the greatest one is. I don't know if it's part of cultural shock, but <laughs> there's um like don't get me wrong, hygiene is okay, it's great, but I can't seem to understand how like what we use for ikishi and can be also wipe on the floor, can also wipe here. It's like, no, it's like you're not here. I'm lying when I say here, but on the floor, or Jay, like come on. I, I'm used to if I had to take in Rango from the kitchen and get all into your pants and lay me, yo, yo, I'd be applying for like the biggest lecture. But here it's like, oh, wrap that, good deal. And it, it's taking, it's been two months. It's been two months, and I'm still trying to understand that. Um, how, okay, how about the culture shocks in the States, and which one really shocked you? Oh, I think it's the same one. Let me think of another one just to. someone visits your house i know that um you take them out and walk them out and if they stay maybe five houses away then you're going to leave them on the third house if they stay two blocks away then you're going to stop between the first block you know something like that and here it's like you just leave them at the at your door and you're like okay bye and i was actually talking to my friend about that that you know she is all she likes to run and so when we when she's done visiting me this was, was when i was in colorado and then she was like um no stay like a lot of times she's been like no stay i'm like no i want to walk with you she's like no i don't want you to walk with me it's fine and it's been a constant fight until like now well i left her but uh before I came here, it was a case where she knew at least I had to walk at least a couple of houses. She stayed like a fair 12, 12 minute walk or something. And she wouldn't even allow me to like walk her. She'd be like, no, I, I, I'm good. And then she'd start running or walking, whatever she's doing. So, I mean, yeah, to me, that's considered rude. If someone comes uh, in South Africa, I think, if someone comes to visit you, then you walk them out, you just walk a couple of houses and come back. That's how I know things to be. I mean, like, that's how my friend and I do things when they come visit. You leave them halfway and then they continue walking. But here it's like, nope. So I think that was also a shock to me. But yeah, I am just an update now. I'm in Nashville. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm not loving Colorado. I'm gonna be staying here for the rest of the year. I can confidently say that. Um, not for the rest of the, like for the rest until February, I think. February or January, I don't know. Now, um, yeah, I mean, let me not mix this video into an update, a life update, just just questions. I'm gonna to try to be more consistent that is one thing for sure um, because when I moved in, out of my previous host family's house it was a situation where everything was just jumbled up I didn't have I didn't have proper communication with people um, what's it I wasn't staying in my old room uh, I was also kind of like adjusting to everything not even adjusting 
like just taking in things as they come so I hope my, my mind is just switched off um yeah I think that's it so really hope you enjoyed this video I'm gonna try to actually I need to go to the grocery store now so after that I think I'll edit this video and try to upload it at least by tomorrow I hope I don't jinx it but thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this I need proper lighting I will get proper lighting I don't know when but I'll get it and before the next one-on-one -on -one, hope to see if you haven't subscribed thank you so much for the views the views are just increasing one video at a time and I love that for me so please subscribe